are fabulous. Um, so a little bit about why I love teaching this. Well, number one, I exercise is not just for the Olympians. Exercise, and we kind of get in this idea that if I can't do all these things, what's the point? Well, the point is we can stay strong. We can work a, wisely and gently to increase our core strength, with, which helps us do everything we want to do, to increase and maintain our flexibility. Let's say maintain flexibility as our, as our kind of our goal and anything plus is wonderful too. Um, I have worked in the world of medical social work for a very long time. And I work particularly with folks who've had, had falls, have had some issues that have really impacted their quality of life. So my heart is in these health promotion ideas. Um, and so what we're doing here today is going to be gentle. It's going to be something you might remember one or two things we do, and you might want to try them again day after tomorrow. So, oh, I also have an assistant. He's coming to visit. Come here, buddy. <laughs> so this is August. Oh gosh, so adorable. Yes. So he likes, whenever I start class, he comes in for a visit. Hello, buddy. Thank you. Oh, what a good boy. Okay. Oh, do you want to stay? So when we start class, I like us to start feeling our feet on the ground. Um, so it, that's not very complicated, but it can help if you just press your feet. And if you're wearing shoes, you press your, sh your feet into the soles of your shoes. If you're barefoot, you just press your foot onto the floor. I'm hoping that we're all sitting in pretty comfortable chairs. Mine is an old dining room chair. Again, no need for fancy equipment. It just has a semi straight back. Um, fold it, we use folding chairs at the center. So it, the, again, I'm not ever going to push something where you have to buy a fancy piece of equipment that you only use for one thing. One of my best, uh, pieces of equipment I, we use is a hand towel. But for today, we're going to use what we what you see here. So let's press into our feet. And then very gently, just give them a little, little, little stomp. I'm going to show you my feet so I can demonstrate this. So I'm just doing a little, 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 like a little pressure into my feet. Nothing that hurts. Just rest now and Feel the, your heels, your toes, the balls of your feet, and holding on to the side of your chair. Let's see if we can move our knees one side and just notice. All we're doing is noticing the difference in how our feet connect to the ground. And we'll take a big breath in. And exhale, take the knees to that other side. And again, the whole thing we're about right now is just noticing the, how your feet contact the earth. And then we're coming back to center, holding on to the chair. I want everybody to press up, bringing your nose forward as if you're about to sit up and your nose keeps going forward and your rear end just about lifts. We press into those toes and we come back. Now, oops. My cameraman is me, so thank you for your patience. And what we're gonna do now, holding onto the chair, is just come back the littlest bit, a very small bit, bringing shoulders behind the hips, maybe half an inch. And notice the change that happens and all that energy that goes to your heels. Okay, so when we start our asana, which is all the movement practice, we want to make sure that we are seated comfortably on our chair. So I like to start with my hands on either side and just rock a little side to side. And then what I typically do is I notice that my shoulders 
typically like to, I, I, I come forward here and that's not exactly where, where we wanna be. So nobody needs to move. We wanna see if our shoulders are over our hips. So that you can check out just by kind of going back and forth a little bit. And when you feel that your spine getting nice and long, you're just where I want all of us to be. Our hands, we're gonna give them a little wiggle, and just rest them in our laps, roll our shoulders up towards our ears, back towards the back of our chair, and right back to a nice neutral place. Your shoulders and ears are not visiting at this point. We wanna take a moment to breathe in and lengthen our spine, maybe even close your eyes. And just breathe in through your nose. And exhale. Just slow, slow, steady breath at a pace that feels safe and comfortable for you. And it is possible we're breathing in through our nose and out through our nose. Next thing we're gonna try is hand to our heart, hand to our belly. You can keep your eyes closed again for this. Inhale through the nose, lengthening the spine. Exhale, let all the air out of your lungs. With this inhale, can you feel your chest expand as your lungs fill up, even your belly? You want your belly, your ribs to get a lot of stretch with this in-breath. And as you exhale, your belly button's gonna come towards your spine. Your ribs are coming closer to each other and your chest goes back towards your shoulders. So we're inhaling, we're just puffing up, filling a balloon, filling our lungs. So it's that idea of the air in expands us and the air out brings us back to our more compact frame. And let's inhale together, exhaling, opening up the eyes. And now when you are ready, we're gonna come forward. We're gonna use our arms as our as our kickstands and come forward. We'll tuck chin to the chest and we're gonna take a moment as we're taking our shoulders towards our knees, taking a breath in and just checking in with your body. There may be old injuries, new challenges that you're gonna respect and honor as we go to our practice exhaling, coming back. So if something I do, something I teach doesn't feel right, doesn't feel pleasant in your body, that's a sign. And please, please, please take a moment and come back to where we start, which is this mountain pose with feet. Oh, my cameraman. Oh, got to Got to work on her. So we start with our feet steady on the ground, our hands coming down towards the earth and our shoulders I'm just trying to connect up and visit your waistband. And then as we bring our shoulder blades back and towards each other, our chest gets a little open stretch. Anytime during our practice, if you are not feeling that a, a pose, a movement is right for you, you come back here and you take those deep breaths in through your nose and out. We're gonna inhale, we're taking our arms out to the sides. If you can make yourself into a human T, it's wonderful. If that is not ready, if your shoulders aren't ready for that, no big deal, you can come lower. You just, we're playing with this and we're gonna kind of explore how our shoulders feel this morning. We'll rotate palms down and rotate palms up. And if possible, we're gonna connect this with our breath. So as we take our palms up, let's inhale through our noses 
And maybe you can rotate so much that you see your pinkies. Maybe not, no big deal. And then you exhale as you bring your palms to look at the earth. And maybe you can go a little further. Maybe you can't, no big deal. Breath in, breath out. One more like this. If your arms are feeling warm, that's okay. If you're feeling something other than warmth, it might be time to bring your arms down. If your arms and shoulders are warming up, press into your feet, grow your spine just a bit longer. And all we're gonna do is take left hand to right knee, right hand to right hip. Inhale tall and very slowly take your gaze, keeping your chin level, take your gaze towards that right shoulder. Inhale, grow tall, press into your feet, grow your spine. And exhale, we're gonna take that gaze over to the left shoulder. Even chin, long neck, breath in. And exhale, find center. Now, no big changes. We're gonna take that right arm down, like in that mountain pose position, palm facing forward. Left arm's gonna come up. And if possible, you're just gonna press the backs of your hands against that invisible wall behind you and open across the chest, across the ribs. Press your heart open, big breath in and exhale. Things are gonna change. That left hand comes down to the left hip. The right arm does as much of a circle as feels okay and comes over to that left knee. Ta-da! Breathe in. Long spine, chin tucks in a little bit, and we'll just exhale over to that left shoulder. And if you think, boy, she's moving slow, yes, I am. <laughs> and that's how we make sure we're taking good care of our bodies and getting our best level of stretch. And when you're ready, we're gonna exhale. And again, that left hand's gonna come down, the right arm's gonna go up, and we're gonna open our hearts. Yay. We're going to take that left arm up to match our right and just release the shoulders down. And if you can, you can't see my fingers, but I'm just going to give them a little wiggle. And then in this position, here's our core strengthener. Can you take your feet out? So I'm going to lift up the fronts of my feet, my toes come out, lift up my heels. And then when my heels are just about even with the legs of my chair, I'm just where I want to be. And we're going to inhale, left hand again over to the right. This time, the right hand may stay on the hip or it may travel from the shoulder and behind. And your gaze follows that right shoulder, that right arm. The left foot stays steady on the ground. And you just kind of play with this. Sometimes it feels great to just hook the arm behind the chair. Sometimes a long arm is your, is your best friend here. We'll just breathe in. And as we exhale, we'll take our gaze forward. The left arm comes up to say, be even with the right. And from here, little, little adventure with eyes open or closed, we're gonna touch thumb to first finger, thumb to middle finger, thumb to ring finger, thumb to pinky, thumb to pinky, thumb to ring finger, thumb to middle finger, thumb to first finger. If your eyes were closed, open them up. <laughs> and then we're gonna breathe our arms. Let's take our left, or excuse me, our right hand over to the left knee. And the left arm can stay straight. There, <laughs> I don't wanna confuse you with the options, but our baseline can be left hand to left hip looking over left shoulder or left arm coming out to the side or left arm sneaking back. And just get a little bit more neck stretch here with, a, with your next inhale. And then we're gonna exhale, bring that gaze, that arm forward. 
bring that right arm to match the left. And if possible, bring those arms up overhead, big breath in and bring those feet back to neutral. So our knees are re-lined up in a straight line with our hips. Our knees are over our ankles and our arms yet again are feeling warm. Let's take the hands right down in front of us. And this is one of those kind of stack. You can add a, add a scoop or stay with our vanilla cone here. Bring the fingers down, bring the fingers up. Exhale to inhale. If you are feeling like, oh, I've got this, you can match this with your feet. So when your fingers come up, lift your toes. See if you can find space between your toes. A little wiggle room there, maybe. And then as we exhale, our fingers go down and our heels come up. So we'll try this again. Inhale, toes up, fingers up, belly expands, exhale, fingers down, heels down, good one, let's do one more, inhale, fingers up, toes up, exhale, fingers down, heels up, and bring those heels down, bring those hands down, and let's just give ourselves a little stretch around, it's very gentle, moving both arms, Taking our gaze slowly towards that back shoulder. And then we're going to meet here in the middle. Relax our shoulders down. We've had a little, little bit of a stretch into our neck and our arms, and I'm very happy about that. We also need to kind of move all the way down our frame. So what we're going to do, and this is going to have to be very specific to you. So if you feel great lifting your heel up and stretching towards your left thigh. That is where you need to be. If you want to try lifting the whole foot off the ground, that's fine too. A little forward fold. Come on back. Now, here's where the fun begins. Toes are on the ground or foot is up off the earth. And we're gonna hold on to our leg and draw some circles with our ankle. And for just because you can take your pinky toe as kind of the, the lead of this circle. It's kind of the pen drawing the circle. Then we'll go the other way. So you can do this toes on the ground or foot all the way up. If you'd like to go one step further, either with foot on the ground or foot off the ground. Even there are some folks who are feeling strong and steady and can release the arms. You don't need to, it's just an option. There are some folks who can do this with their leg long. That's fine. You can hold, just find your happiness. And you'll notice I'll chit chat a lot when I'm, we're, I'm trying to trick you into like really doing some fun strengthening activities. And so you're welcome. So we're just going to flex and point that foot. And if your toes are on the ground, you stay steady, heel up, toes up. And if your foot is floating, same, same idea. And then one small change. And if your leg needs to come down, you can bring your toes to the ground and draw these circles. If you're still happy with your foot up, we'll draw these circles with the hip. And then we'll go the other way. My standing leg, my leg that steadies me, stay, that, that right foot is steady on the ground. And it makes all of this a little bit more fun. We're going to take that left leg down, hold on to the chair, and take those knees side to side. Our legs and our rear ends are the biggest muscle groups we have. And so we tend to get a, it's a lot more exertion for us when we're moving around our hips, our legs. So yay. <laughs> and we're going to try the same on the second side. So again, you're going to you're going to start with our lift of the heel or the lift of the foot. 
hold on here or foot down and just take a little forward fold. When you're here, can you press that left foot to the ground? And then we're gonna come on up, shoulders back over hips. The foot is floating or the foot is on the ground and we draw those circles. Knee to the, please don't take your knee up here and <laughs> keep your knee even with your hip. And then we'll go the other way, circling and circling. And if you feel like you don't need your arms holding on, that's great. Let them be. If you want to add even more challenge, you can do this. But I'm going to stay right here holding on to my leg and then point and flex. And again, you're welcome to do this with foot on the ground, knee, foot off the ground, extension. Just find your happy place with this. Press that left foot to the ground and we're gonna draw those circles, taking a break when you need to, coming back when you can. Let's go the other way. And thank goodness, oh, let's bring both feet down. And again, knees go side to side. I have to come forward in my chair so I can do that, but I wanna keep my arms and hands right here so my balance and posture can stay nice and long. And then meet in the middle. Let's walk our, our seats back into the chair and let's re-meet in mountain pose. So shoulders away from ears, coming back towards each other. So the yoga word for this is expression is shine your heart. So it's your chest, your ribs are kind of coming forward. And then we're somewhere near the mid range midpoint of class, which is my time to shamelessly promote hydration. Um, I have Hetch Hetchy water straight from the tap in my lovely glass. I put on a lemon slice just because I was feeling fancy. When we do chair yoga, when we do any kind of exercise, it's important to stay hydrated. And hydration helps with our balance, with our concentration. It's good for everything. And um, I'm, if you're having your cup of coffee, fabulous. If you're having a cup of tea, fabulous. If you're going old school and drinking water with me, wonderful. But just make sure that when you're in my class, I'm going to just I, I'm going to stop everything and make us go on. Oh, here's August. Go on a water break. Um, <laughs> and anything else you do, just, if you remember nothing. Oh, I was earlier. You don't need to know my name. You I was don't doing the arm stretches. Just hide, the hydration is important. That's good. So somebody is, if you're, somebody's uh, phone or device isn't muted. So if you can come back to, just take a quick peek, make sure you're muted. Or you stay very quiet. <laughs> it's just I uh, want to make sure pe folks can hear me. Okay, and I have, I actually leave my phone in another room because as much as I try to do all the silencing things, it doesn't always work perfectly. So my phone stays in a, in a carefully hidden when I'm teaching online. <laughs> and so we're going back to our starting point of our mountain pose with that nice long spine. We're going to start our back bend practice. And I say that with a great, with a big smile because we're not going to do a, the back bend that I used to think of when I thought about back bends. We're bending both forward and back. And I'm going to turn myself. Y'all don't need to turn. I just want to show you what this is going to look like. So when I'm sideways, and trying to do, move into this cat cow pose. I'm gonna look forward. I'm gonna slide my fingers down my, towards my knees. And then with an exhale, I'm gonna take my shoulder blades towards each other. My back is bending. My belly's coming forward. My shoulder blades are coming together. My chest starts angling just the smallest bit towards the ceiling, towards the sky. My head, follows my chest. 
So we want to keep everything in a nice, easy line. And then when it's time to inhale, things change. We round our chin towards our chest. We round our upper back. Shoulder blades come apart from each other. Belly tucks towards the spine. And this is our, so this is our angry cat. And this is our contented cow. So when we're, we're moving back, our elbows can even bend to help us get a little bit more stretch. Fingers right around the knees, shoulder blades together. Big heart opener. Back bend one way. Exhale. Back bend the other. Shoulders apart. And one more. We're going to inhale, pulling back with our elbows, looking towards maybe where the ceiling and the wall meet. And then exhale. Coming back to center. Wait for me. I'm going to rejoin you. Well, hello. Hello. And roll the shoulders down. Let's find our mountain again. So the um, big po the big sequence we're going to do is called a sun salutation. And that's lots of the pieces we've pretty much done coming together. So I'll, I'll lead us. And if somebody in your life says, hey, what, what did you, what'd you do in chair yoga today? You can remember, I learned that I better drink or Ruth will be very cross, water, hydration. You did back bends, boop to boop, and then sun salutations, which are sort of the big framework for most yoga practices. So here we go. Let's start in our mountain, feel our heels, our toes to the ground, and our inhale takes our arms up. And up can be here or here. It might be arms up overhead. Might not, doesn't need to be. And we're relaxing shoulders down. We're taking an exhale, taking our hands to our knees. We've done something very close to this, tuck the chin to chest. And now your tailbone is going to stay anchored on the chair and the top of your head is stretching forward. And what happens for some of us is our shoulders come to visit our ears and we want to relax them back towards the waistband. There we go. That's the forward fold. And then we're going to do a exhale to bring an inhale, excuse me, to bring us back up. And then we're going to inhale those arms up again. Exhale, hands come to heart, then fingers stretch towards the knees. We're going to do that forward fold. And when we're, when we're inhaling, we're pressing into our palms, coming back up. And remember how we brought one leg out? Same idea. So let's start with the left leg going out to the side, right leg staying lined up between the front legs of your chair. Now, depending on your hips, there are some of us who can take that leg way out, and there's some of us that this is plenty. So we're going to realign our hips, our shoulders, to be in a triangle shape with that right leg. So left shoulder, right leg, right hip. There we go. And then we'll take our arms up again, inhaling. Exhaling, let's bring those hands to heart. And you may recall that we did that little thing with left hand to left hip and that we're going to stay with that for a moment. We're going to extend that right arm and then our gaze, we're going to look down that right arm towards our right fingers. We're in our warrior two. Now warrior one is something else. Don't we'll, we'll, That's for another day, but warrior two is just my favorite building block pose. If your right arm gets tired, you bring it down. If your left arm wants to play, then you can take your left arm out and float it back. And if you're ready for just a bit more, then you take that right shoulder and you pivot it, and then your left shoulder can come back a little bit, and then you take your gaze right back to that right arm. So here we are, warrior two, big breath in. And we're going to make a small change. That left hand is either going to come to the knee or the hip. 
the right palm comes to the sky and we inhale as we stretch. And our eyes, if, if it feels all right in your neck, your eyes can follow your right fingers and we take a big stretch back. This is our dancing warrior. And then we're gonna exhale, right hand to right knee, left arm. It can come forward and just take a forward fold. It can take a gentle circle and come up and over and either hand on that knee or elbow on the knee, feet are firm. And again, maybe you're rotating towards the side. Breathe in and exhale, coming on back. So here we're gonna do, we're gonna come back to where we started. So the left arm is gonna come up, the right arm's gonna come to join it. And then we're gonna take that left foot even with the right. Some of us are gonna need a little help to move the leg and some of us can do the lift and come back and we'll bring those hands to heart. Breathe in and exhale to our deepest forward fold of the morning, hands towards the knees, maybe the elbows come down and that chin comes towards the chest. Big breath in. There are some folks that bringing their head below their heart is not gonna work for blood pressure reasons, for eye pressure reasons. So you stay with this nice long spine. There are some of us who can come a little lower and maybe bring head towards the knees, hands towards the feet. And all of us are gonna take a big breath in. Really, you can feel that belly expand. And we're gonna reset in our mountain pose. Fingers down, fingers wide, feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. A little mid-practice break, we're gonna bring hands together at heart, press fingertips together, little space between the palms, and with that gentle pressure into fingertips, your chest muscles are gonna warm up a little bit. Just gentle pressure, gentle pressure. Two more breaths, press to the fingers. And with your next exhale, release the hands, give them a shake, rub them together. And when you're rubbing the feet together, give the feet a little bit of a stomp, reconnecting with the earth, reconnecting with our bodies and coming back to the ability of really just listening to our breath and our bodies. Maybe you can leave the outside world out there. It'll come back. <laughs> so, you know, enjoying this short time together to just have a calmer, quieter mind. So we'll inhale, attention to the breath, and pretty much not anything else. <laughs> Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale the hands up. And then when we're exhaling, that right hand's going to find the right hip. The right knee's moving out. The left arm is parallel to the left leg. And then we're going to rotate our shoulders a bit. So we make that triangle, and this may be just the right place to stay, or that arm, that back arm can come out. If there's a little bit more room in your sides and your spine, then we start rotating our hearts to the side, looking towards that back arm, and slowly gazing towards that front arm. Palms are down. And let's take the shoulders up towards the ears only because they might be visiting and then relax them down. Oh, such a good feeling. Left arm can stay out or left hand can come to hip, rotate that palm. Inhale, stretch to your dancing warrior. Make the right foot and the left foot stay active. Exhale, come on back. Left hand or elbow finds that knee. Right shoulder comes back. 
right hand might come up to shoulder, right arm might extend, and maybe there's a little stretch forward here and your gaze is gonna be to the side. Big breath in, exhale, come on back. And here we go, the left arm comes up, the right arm comes up, the right leg comes up. There we go, yay. And what we're gonna do now is what I like to do with every class. <laughs> we're gonna cross at the ankles or at the knees, just a little extra hip stretch. Your right foot is in front of your left or your right knee is on top of your left. Then that right arm is on top of the left and you bring yourself in for a nice hug. If your hands can reach your shoulders, if they cannot, no big deal, you maybe hold on to elbows. If you've got more stretch and you can move into some uh, pose called eagle arms, that's wonderful. That can look like this or even like this. And the idea here is we're just giving ourselves a big hug. And I'm gonna encourage everybody to give themselves a big pat on the back because you're here and you woke up this morning <laughs> and you were willing for students that have been working with me for a while, I always have 23 reasons that we should give ourselves a hug. For new students and students that are trying out this Wednesday class, I'm just, it's pretty fantastic that you're willing to give this a try. And so there's a pat for that. <laughs> And don't worry on side two, I'll come up with more fabulous reasons to be very content and pleased with yourselves. We'll open our arms up. We'll take those legs out and then rotate the shoulders down. And guess what we're going to do? Side two. So we're going to cross at the ankles, left foot on the ground in front of the right, or maybe cross at the knee. Find what feels great. And re remembering my words of encouragement, this practice is yours. And if your body is saying, this feels great and this feels not so great, you're going to the ankle cross and then finding your long spine wherever you are with this. Take those arms wide again. This time the left arm is gonna be on top. So you're here or here or any deeper version of this eagle pose, which gives your shoulders a big old stretch. If you're feeling pretty snappy, you can even bring your chin to chest and come on back. And if you're thinking, oh, what are the other reasons I give myself a pat on the back? Okay, you're here. You've mastered the technology piece enough to get here, or you have someone in your life who's mad, who has figured it out for you, and those are all good things for a pat on the back. You're going to stay hydrated today, and you're going to be really mindful of hydration in the next few days because it's going to be hot, and I'm going to be, I'll be the ice water queen of Redwood City, and I hope you join me in my, uh, in my happy world there. And you're doing something to take good care of your body. Oh, one more pat. Open the arms, uncross the legs. It has been a heck, well, let's bring those hands down. It has been, for most of us, the hardest part of our lives in the last year, year and a half. Um, and you somehow, you made it. And we've had a lot of changes to our lives along this period of time and we've been through it and I'm happy that we are able to be together. I'm happy that folks here are able to take that step back into the big world. This may be the baby step. This may be the big step, but I'm so glad we're here. We're not quite done yet, but I'm if I ever slow down, I just always, it's hard to stop me from being very appreciative and thrilled that we get, we get to spend time together. Um, so, just 
there's many good things about my class, some that you may not ex exceedingly love, but I'm thrilled that we get to be together. I, and I'm just going to take us to our next set of poses. We're gonna inhale tall. <laughs> we're gonna exhale our hands to heart. And then we're gonna make ourselves into a human cactus or goddess, depending on how you wanna look at this. So our elbows, even with the shoulders, I'll take my arm down, my palm is looking forward. Ta -da. And we're a cactus. And what we're gonna do again is stretch into our upper back and our chest. And for a lot of us, we have spent the last year to year and a half hunched over screens, hunched over mixing bowls, not as, and it's time for us to kind of relearn how to open our hearts up Let's bring those elbows back. And then again, that idea of shining your heart. So right now my chest is facing the wall and that's great. And I'm bringing my shoulders back. Some of us might be able to do a little lift. And again, here we are in a back bend. So we're opening and maybe there's a small arch in your mid back. And then we're coming back to our cactus pose. We're going to bring those elbows back just a bit and just tip to one side. Come on up. Tip to the other side. Come on up. Release the hands down in front of us. Gently forward folding, chin to chest. Coming back to sit in our chairs. And this is when we get to bring the back of our backs to the back of our chairs. Hey, Vicky Boo. Are you back there, Bicky Boo? If you need back, yes. What are you doing back there, Bicky Boo? Come on out here, sweet pea. And let's Come relax, sweetheart. Our feet, Come our shoulders, sweetheart. closing our eyes, making any little stretches you need to make your practice more restful. Now, relaxing the feet, relaxing the hands. Slow, steady breath. And if you have time in your day, you can just maintain this shavasana, this resting pose. Sometimes five to 10 minutes here in this very still framework gives our, our brains and bodies a beautiful chance to rest. reintegrate. If you need to um, finish class now. Slowly wiggle your eyes open, give them a little blink. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Come forward in the chair just a little bit. We're gonna make a big breath in, stretching our arms up overhead. Exhaling as we bring hands to heart. And we say at the end of the yoga classes, this beautiful Sanskrit word, Namaste, which means the light in me honors and recognizes the light in you. So thank you so much for bringing your energy, your fabulous self to class this morning. I'm so glad we got to have this time together and enjoy the rest of um, community day. I know there are a lot of great activities happening thanks to Travon Day. So thank you, thank you and enjoy your Wednesday. Hetchy cheers to us all. Take care. I just want to say thank you, Ruth West from Adaptive PE, for always opening such a great session for us. So thank you. Give a hand to Ruth West. Always my pleasure. You, thank I, you so much. It's so good thank to you, see Ruth. everybody. Good care. And in, oh, I, I know there's a um, some wildlife classes coming. Yes. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So. So the next class is about reduce reuse 
uh, recycling from office oh, to facility. So join us if you could. Oh, Thank fabulous. You guys. That sounds wonderful. I will try to tap in. Thank you guys. Take Thank care. You. Bye -bye. Bye. Bye -bye. What a nice Bye. way to start the day. Good to yes. see everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Bye, Kitty Kitty. And anyway, I.